Ah, nilagdaan na ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang General Appropriations Act of 2024. Ayon sa Pangulo, kabilang sa mahalagang prioridad ng budget ang food security, education, kalusugan, social protection, climate change at iba pa. May report si Alan Francisco. Today we signed the national budget, the instrument which tells how the taxes paid by the people will be returned to them. In effect, we are signing the renewal of our annual social contract with taxpayers that what they have paid faithfully will be rebated to them in full. Pirmado na ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang national budget para sa susunod na taon o ang General Appropriations Act of 2024. Sa isang seremonya sa Malacanang, nilagdaan na ni President Marcos ang higit 5.7 trillion pesos na national budget. Sabi ni Pangulong Marcos, gagamitin ang budget na ito sa paglaban sa kahirapan at kagutuman at pagtutok sa edukasyon ng mga Pilipino. Gayun din, ang paglika ng mga pagkain at mga bahay. Gagamitin din ang national budget para ipangtulong sa mga may sakit at paglika ng mga trabaho o kabuhayan. Makatutulong din ito sa pagpapanatili ng kaayusan sa bansa. It is wrong to say that the budget merely pays for the overhead of the bureaucracy. It is more than that. It funds the elimination of problems that we as a nation must overcome. It is incorrect to say that the budget merely finances the operations of government because its fine print bankrolls the realization of our dreams writ large. In the end, every line in this budget when translated to projects from roads to schools to hospitals will transform our country for the better and the lives of our people for the better. Ayaw ng Pangulo na ipamana ang paungutang sa mga susunod na inerasyon. Kaya naman sabi niya, Good fiscal stewardship imposes upon us The discipline not to be led into the temptation of bloating what we owe. Good government dictates upon us the duty to spend the appropriations we have cobbled together for the correct purposes, the right way, on time and on budget. Kasabay ng pagpirma sa budget ang paalala ng Pangulo sa mga mangasiwa nito na maging responsable. I say this to remind those who will execute this budget That red tape that leads to underspending and overspending that disregards legal guardrails are two sides of the same coin. Implementation delay and illegal deviations inflict the same havoc of denying the people of the progress and development that they deserve. Ang maayos ani ang pamahala sa budget ay simbolo ng pagkilala sa ambag ng mga taxpayer para maisulong ang bagong Pilipinas. So with this reminder comes the most important budget commandment that we must always heed. We are working for the people, not for ourselves. We are working for the country, not for ourselves. Kasabay nito ang panawagan ni Pangulo Marcos ng pagkakaisa para sa isang mas maunlad na bansa. Samantala, sa tanong kung may navito ba sa budget para sa 2024, Sagot naman ni Budget Secretary Amena Pangandaman. Walang direct veto, most of it are conditional and general observations. Ang general observations po, parang may mga konting comments lang on how to implement the budget. Ang conditional implementation naman po is, usually these are, uh, there are special provisions and general provisions kasi nakasulat doon that uh, subject to implementing rules and regulations or guidelines to be issued by respective departments. So yun, kiniklear lang po namin yun doon sa veto message. And then yung iba po, some kasi of the uh, special and general provisions are reiteration of laws, existing laws. Alan Francisco, para sa bayan.